Former sailors on the now decommissioned USS Rourke came to Omaha this week to honor the namesake of their ship at a cemetery near 78th and Center. William Rourke was from Omaha and died in the Vietnam War. As reporter John Kipper explains, while the men never met Rourke, they feel a connection to him after serving on the vessel named in his honor. Yeah, that's right, Jen. The men not only wanted to reunite and share old war stories, but they desired to feel a little bit closer and connect with the man who's one of the first Americans to enter and die in the Vietnam War. Lieutenant Rourke and the flight crews participated in something called Rolling Thunder, which was the first heavy action of that war. They came from all over, Oregon, Washington, D.C., Wisconsin, and elsewhere. To honor the man whose name was on the ship, they all used to call home. It, it was always like the big hill that was at the end of this trip, you know, and so for me to get up and present and, and speak about his deeds, uh, that was pretty overwhelming. Most of the men were on the vessel during the tail end of the Vietnam War in the early 70s. One particular event was the subject of many of the stories the men told. One day, a part of the USS Rourke caught fire, and the men were just able to extinguish it before the fire could take down the ship. So we've all we've all thought that Mr. Rourke has been with us even after his death because he took care of us that because at the time of the ship was burning up the torpedoes were uh, were melting there it was just it was the the ship should have really blown up what should have happened work was killed in combat in 1965 and some of the vets say coming to his gravesite made it personal and was a way to recapture history come here i never thought i was going to come to where he's buried at and it's the camaraderie, and it's, we're still connected, you know, all the way back to Lieutenant Rourke and us. And this was the third year that the vets were able to reunite, but it was the first time they did so in Omaha. And they're planning on coming back to the Metro next year, which will be the 50th anniversary of the ship's commissioning.